Hey y'all, so <clears throat> coming to you from my dressing room, and it turns out that uh, we found out this week the show is closing. So I thought I would do a little vlog about shows closing. So there's, I think there's a big attachment to this thing. People sort of go, oh, it failed. I think what's interesting is, I don't see, sometimes shows fail, but it's, it's always a risk. It's always a risk doing a show on Broadway. This is the fifth time I've done a show on Broadway. This is the fourth time I've closed it. You know, and each time, you know, is different. Sometimes you get a week's notice. Sometimes you get a few months, a couple week, couple weeks notice. This time we got five months notice, which is awesome. It's just really ideal, actually, because we have time to sort of play in our lives and audition and find other work. So I feel very lucky. But what's interesting is the way this was sort of handled here, which is they told us it was a buyout and that they were renovating the theater, but then you find out in the press release that it's because Harry Potter wants to come here from London. Which, it's not even, it's awesome. I mean, I want to be in Harry Potter, so if anybody watching this knows JK or anybody involved, John Tiffany, I would love to be like second horror from the left. But it's the uh, it's not, not being fully upfront and honest with us that I think really bothers a lot of people. But sometimes there's just things they can't say and things they can't, you know. But regardless, <clears throat> I'm finding it to be very exciting because we're now sort of being pushed. It's like, you know, pushing the bird out of the nest. We all get to sort of look at where we want to go, what we want to do, and set some real intentions. So I'm super excited. Here's the other thing I know about a show closing. It creates a grieving process. Like everyone in the company goes through these ups and downs. You know, you go, okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? Like that's like the energy it starts happening, and then some people are going, oh, these producers messed up because they should have done this, or they should have done that, or if only this was better, if only that was better. And then you go through these like jokes. It's, it's interesting to watch. So everyone's kind of going through different stages of grief. Plus, um, you might have read that you recently lost a company member. Um, he wasn't currently in the company, but an original company member. And so there's just been a lot of stimuli happening here and uh, it makes for a very interesting energy at work backstage of course on stage everyone's fabulous but uh, you know this is the reality of being an actor and shows close it's just how it goes and uh, you know one of the things I'm realizing is I need to be singing every day I've got to get my voice back in shape I got to be ready um, I haven't been singing every day because I haven't had to, so now I have to. Um, I gotta make sure I stay, keep my body in shape. I gotta make sure I keep um, my chops going because you know my agent could call tomorrow and be like, "Can you get downtown for this?" and and I need to be ready. Um, that hasn't happened. I wish it would. Um, it hasn't happened in a few months because I'm like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to like make stuff happen. But I'm getting a lot of great ideas from my YouTube channel and. Uh, I'm going to be planning on building my coaching business uh, to the extreme. It's going to be a good year, I think, because i got some great ideas. So, you know, one of the things I think I'm going to do, and tell me what you guys think, I'd really love to get your input on this, is I'm thinking about joining Patreon so I can get donations to help me produce some of the video ideas I have, because a lot of them, I want to get high-quality footage. I'm going to get a really good filmmaker. Um, good recordings because some of them are music videos and stuff so I can't really afford that especially with the show closing so I'm gonna join Patreon and learn a little bit about that and see if I can't just keep creating because it's been so fun I'm loving managing this channel the more I do it the more I love it and I want to commit even more to it um, yeah but uh, this is the reality is interesting right here is our calendar for the year and it goes all the way to July but now it doesn't <laughs> and the funny thing too that I thought was really interesting 
is that I've been reading, literally reading this week, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So it's really funny. I don't know, there's some weird synchronistic energy happening. But uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Because uh, there's some great announcements going to be coming up for the end of the year. And I'll talk to you all soon.